Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Welcome to Thursday. It's a big Thursday. We have Ben's Hall. It is. We have, we have a, a new Hall. light. We have a new ring we have light. New lighting. So let us know how the lighting looks. Do We're... I look? Do I look model pretty? We're still working with it. We're trying to get it to maybe be a little closer to us. It might look kind of like it's coming down on us. Just let us know how it looks. <laughs> Do I look funky? Um, is what I'm trying to say. I hope you like my shirt because you'll be seeing it again on Saturday because we're going to be doing a live on Saturday. We haven't been doing, we haven't done one in so long. So I'm really excited. I'm so excited. And of course it's going to have Taco Bell because Renee, our wonderful, wonderful we viewer. We love Renee. She sponsored it for us. Yes. She sent us a lovely she sent us Taco Bell gift card. Time. So it'll be brought to you by Renee. So Saturday's video. And it'll be What's on Saturday, and it'll also be a Q&A. So in the comments below, please leave your questions. And we will also know? ask for questions on Instagram that oh, day. Yeah. So you can send them in there too. And like we said, this is going to be a bins haul. So as usual, if you're interested in anything, you can DM us on Instagram. Give me a jingle. The Let links are below, or you can send an email to the email below. And that works as well. Yes, it so, does. So this is all bin stuff, all of it, and we did pretty good. It's still running the same way it was before that we told you in the last haul. Hate the way it's run. Don't hate the things that I got. Yeah. So we did get a bit more though this time, and we're just gonna jump into it. I will start. I got kind of a few miscellaneous <sighs> things and one pair of shoes, so I'll show you that first. I didn't get any shoes. I wasn't there to get a shoe rotation. Yeah, no. I wasn't either. I just happened to find one. <laughs> So first off, I got this. It's going to be a free gift with purchase just to someone who maybe spends a little extra or buy something purple. It'll go with it. It just says, have a nice day. A nice little pouch. Then I scarves in those usually. I, I got sell a scarf. this too. I know eBay sellers sometimes sell these. It's like a Bible cover or it could be like a journal cover. Like a notebook. And it's like real nice, like genuine leather. It's really soft. Yeah. Is it monogrammed? No. I just didn't want to leave that in the bins. It seemed too nice. Oh, it's the little... The stitch for the strap mm -hmm. inside, never mind. Then I got this. It is a Brahmin, one of those like kind of bronze. wristlet type situations. And usually Brahmins always crock, but this one is like ostrich as they call it. It's pretty. It's I like that orange color. color. Yeah, I definitely didn't think it would be Brahmin when I picked it up, but then I saw the little plaque and I was like, it's cute. Yes. I like that. So here's my only pair of shoes. These look like Minnetonka moccasins, which Minnetonka is in Minnesota, so we see those. All the time. You see them like literally all every the time. thrift store we ever go into. <laughs> but these are actually coach. Little driving loafer. Cute. Yeah. Little moccasin. And these are size eight and a half. And they're called the Nadia, which is my cousin's name. That's we funny. have a cousin named Nadia. Well, yeah. Jack has a good name, my cousin. <laughs> and then, okay, so this right away made me think of Street Savvy. I feel like we mentioned her in like the last three videos we've had. Hi, Savannah. Um, Savannah, Street Savvy. I found this. Baby it's sweater so onesie, like jumper, and it's Halston, like Halston Heritage. Like and stuff. expensive. Halston baby. But it's so cute. And, and it's, it's a really soft little knit, too. Six to 12 month. And it has Aww. that on the arm, too. It has so, a little, like, the button crotch for diaper situations. You got a little baby that you want this for. Let me know. It's really cute. Okay, so my first few little accessories, I did find some bras. Um, I found it is Pink Victoria's Secret, size, I think, 36, 34 double D. Did this have a name in it? The no, the push-up, the tape, some push-up. And, like, a nice burgundy purple lace. It's pretty. I had seen a bra in the bins that I was going to get. It was a size 38 triple D. And I was going to get it because, obviously, that's probably a more, like, Damn. rare Her size. Back really hurts. But <laughs> it was, like, a little dirty, so I didn't. Oh, and then I got this one, which is just like a regular, though it can be strapless if you want it to be, I think. But it's just a purple bra, and it is, this is regular Victoria's Secret, size 34, 34 regular D. It cannot be strapless. At oh, all. it can't? Oh, oh, oops, never mind. Okay, then I found a pair of kids' pants. I do not know the brand on these, but like, look at how fun these are. These are adorable. They got these little funky animals on them and all these words that I can't read. I think it's in... It looks like German. They almost make me think like Burberry. Nope, it's in Spanish. I could see Burberry. Naked. Um, and the brand is Baby Mini. Pop. Mm, I can't read. Mm, it has a European size, so I would say like toddler size. I don't. <laughs> there's no age. Okay. <laughs> okay, and I found two really cute vintage purses. Um, this one is one of those bead bags that I think is just so cute. 
It's really tiny. It's a say something bag. It is a say something bag. It is like you show up to the event and you got like a little lipstick and your credit card. Um, and it is shockingly by Express from like the 90s. It's cute though. Super cute. Free people make some like that. They do. Um, and then this one I thought was so cute, but I think it might be little grandma. Um, it's just this brown leather woven purse. And then I tied the little scarf on it to give her some pizzazz, but it does have like brass hardware and two um, zipper pockets. So usually this is not a brand that I sell, but I'm gonna try it just to have some like cheaper things in my closet. And I know people really like these. It is Soft and Sexy by American Eagle and it's size medium. And it's got these like embroidered these little, little flowers. flowers all over. Obviously not gonna get me like top dollar, but I thought it was cute. I think I have another one in here somewhere too, but it is not readily available. So that She'd will be been buried. Out. <laughs> this is another just kind of random thing. It is by a brand called A Lab, and it is a small, and it has like a moon stitched into it, and it's really cute tie dye. Obviously, this is very trendy. If it doesn't sell for me, that's a uh, easy Plato's closet. Or sister will take it. Just say, <laughs> give me that. Here it is. <laughs> So here's my other soft and sexy. It's a size medium. I may lot them together, but I'm not be sure good yet. But once again, it's like embroidered flowers. It's so pretty. This I didn't think I was actually going to get, and then I like accidentally <laughs> forgot it in my car. Do you ever do that? You're like, this is ugly. So and then you buy it. It's genuine, like vintage Warner Brothers. It's Tweety Bird. It's Tweety Bird. And it I says, love Tweety Bird. I think he's so funny. Surf Club. But it's tie dye, and that's why I'd originally I picked it, it up because obviously that's trendy right now. But like to some like you know socially distant safe beach party. Yeah. That'd be um, fun. Like an eighties. There is not a size, but it's a large or extra large, and yeah, it's, it's nineteen ninety seven, and his pants say Tweety. That's older than I am, which is kind of funky. <laughs> then <laughs> I picked up this Target swimsuit just because. Swimsuits obviously are in right now. And it's cute with the little tassels cute. on it. Yeah. And it still has the liner in it. So that was the main reason. The B and &E liner. And then this is a scarf that I'm going to sell. Sometimes I sell the scarves that I find in the bins. This one has really cute suns all over it and it's like boho y. So. It's really cute. Okay. Um, Not silk. We'll though. do this one. So this, I was like, oh, what's this big old Chanel sweater? Um, It's actually moth. Anthropology size medium and it does have I love there's Chanel. one teeny 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 little hole right like here. Always happens to Chanel. Right there. And it's just like not even a hole, it's just like the little like fuzzies that are connected to the thread kind of wore away, but you really can't tell because you wear it. It's a very you know. chunky. Like, she oversized. is a big so this is the back. It's a little bit longer in the back than it is on the front. Like there's a little... Yeah. And it's showing up exactly the color that it it's is. It's a nice like it's carmody like, brown. It's yeah, very pretty. It's like gold brown. It's I'm really nice. Right? Love and it's a medium if I forgot to say. Okay, this might be a future project. It's just a really basic vintage Budweiser t-shirt. I like to get like beer shirts and then tie-dye them because I think that makes them a little more interesting. Um, It's just for the loom size extra large. Yeah. Um, okay, this, I honestly forgot about this brand's, like, tops. It's Paige, so it's extra small. And I think this is kind of cute. It's a little ruffly. Paige clothes are so ridiculously expensive. They don't, don't always sell that well, like but frame they're clothes. so expensive. Like, the frame blouses are, like, $300 a piece. Don't know why. Those sell pretty good, though. I they think. really do. This one, I think, you know, it might do okay. And it might be anthropology, too. I haven't really looked into it quite yet. But that is a size, what, extra small? If I forgot to say. Okay, so I did find a ton of really cute, um, like fast fashion plus size stuff. A lot of it being from Boohoo. Yes. So this is boohoo.com, a US size 14. I think this is super cute. It says orange, high waisted, scallop, like scalloped edge. That's cute. Bikini bottom. I couldn't find the top though, which makes me sad, but like, you know, an orange top or something. You can always wear just a couple. Yeah. Hours. Okay, we'll do the rest of this plus size stuff. Um, this is Fashion Nova, size extra large, which I will not get in the bins because every time you find it and Goodwill, it's new tags and it's ten dollars. But you it's will just not this get in the bins. I will I only get in the bins. Okay, makes more sense. <laughs> this is moral. Like... I won't get it in the bins, but I got this in the bins. <laughs> I got this in the bins. It's this like destroyed denim skirt. I think this is cool. 
I almost. I think it's kind of fun. I would actually maybe get that in the thrift store if it was cheap enough. Um, and the guy next to me like saw me look at it and he was like, <laughs> like, I like this. Okay. Okay. Next up for me, this is I think my one anthro find, except I found some vintage anthro that I skipped because it was really. Some of that stuff. Woo. Size small and it's Dolan. Dolan. The older tag Dolan, which actually, fun fact, Dolan is now like its own brand and can be found at Nordstrom Rack. She kind of broke on. She said, Anthology, I don't need you anymore. <laughs> I'm a woman. So this is ASOS and quite possibly Urban Outfitters. It is Elessi. LS. I have no Elise. idea how to say this brand. I don't know. At all. It's like a golf brand. And it's, it's like a tennis skirt. It's really it's so cute. like accordion type. It's like a knife. I think pleated. they're called knife pleats. Yeah. Is that what this is? It is a US 10. Is it lined? No. But I got it because it has the logo right there and stuff like that is always very like trendy. It's very like collab. But yeah, I did see it as ASOS and I'm assuming it is urban. Next up is a band tee and it is Panic at the Disco, Death of a Bachelor. That was a good album. This, this is, is Panic at the Disco. I don't know if it's like their actual merch. Some of them do print it on Gildan t-shirts. I think it is. This looks like the concert t-shirts yeah. that all my friends got. But band tees always do good. What size was it? That was a size medium. I think some like fun little teenage girls donated all of her stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so this is cool. <gasps> this is like a fossil. So this <laughs> is this adorable, like, tropical Hawaiian print. It's almost like a men's Hawaiian t-shirt, but it's a woman's, like, vest. You talking about jeans, though? And it is Carol Anderson, California. If you don't know, C-A and Cabby stands for Carol Anderson. It's Carol Anderson by invitation. This is, like, 70s Cabby. So this is, like, before she got her invitations. This is before, know, before she started she sending out her RSVP. <laughs> before she decided to have a party. <laughs> Oh, I think this so is so cute, cute though. though. And actually, I saw that the vintage cabbie kind of has like a little bit of a following for those. The like... vintage Carol Anderson, excuse me. Yes. Here, oh, Carol Anderson here. exclusive. Which then I'll jump into this too. So I got another vintage. This has a Goodwill tag on it, but it was from the bins. It was a store pull. It's from around town. I don't know. Don't know who is. that is. Oh, also that cabbie was a size medium. Everything I got was medium, because this is an eight. Or medium. Or medium. <laughs> This vintage. <gasps> Ooh, I forgot about this. Like kimono, kind of? It's Does it have shoulder pads in it? It does have shoulder pads. Ooh, and if you want them, wow. I can remove them. I can keep them in up to the buyer. Okay, but like I was on the Reformation website and they have stuff like this now with like the 80s shoulder pads in it. Yeah. And then they were like, they built it in the middle with like a little white shirt and jeans. I thought this was a really cute print. I could see an expensive brand selling that. <laughs> Reformation. <laughs> yeah. And I'll do one more. This is Soybu. I do not get Soybu in a thrift store anymore. I used to when I like first started selling, but then it just like died off. I don't know why. It kind of just lost its phone. I'm a Soybu lady, so I have done. <laughs> I'm going to try it again. It's a size small. I just thought it was a really... Like, it is a cute friends. little pattern. Yeah. And then it's got like the logo right where Lulu or Athleta would put it. What is the Soy Blue logo? What does it look like? It's like that. Hmm. Yeah. It's a little like chicken foot. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Next, I have this Amadi, which is anthropology. And I think this is not the newest, but a newer Amadi. I almost said Amadi tank. It is Amadi tank. Amadi tag. Um, and it's this really cute kind of, it's not um, tweed, but it's kind of like a textured material. And it's got a little peplum on the bottom and it is a size medium. Very cute. Okay, this I was excited to find. Um, it is House of Harlow and Revolve, or House of Harlow 1960 and Revolve. I've never found House of Harlow. It's like small. I I've retail, also never found something that says Revolve. I time. retail arbitraged um, some House of Harlow swimwear which is very cute, but it's this really cute little kind of tiered black, it needs to be steamed, um, dress with these really pretty kind of dainty little full embroideries on it. And it's just like, you know, plain on the back. Super cute. Um, so these next couple of things I did myself. I find a lot of denim in the bins and I'm like, oh, this is cute, but they're ugly. So I turned them all into this shorts. This is cute, but it's ugly. Well, it's like, you know, it's a really cute color or like, it'd be really cute as a pair of shorts, but I'm like, it's gonna go to the garbage. So I'll turn them into shorts. Um, these are vintage Wrangler and this really fun turquoise color. And I did all of the distressing myself on them and they are a size 
Um, it says size 13. I have no idea what that is. I'd say like 26, 26 inch waist maybe. Maybe 20, 27, 26. 27. If you want measurements, I'll send them to you. Yeah. Um, and these were like slashed in the middle, but it is a BDG Urban Outfitters size 31. And they now wow. look like this. I think this particular <laughs> style. like you fell into the like tiger pit at the zoo. particular style of <laughs> BDG jeans does very well. So I think they'll do good. I remember I used to own a pair like this and I love them. And then I sat down one day and my knee caught the hole and it literally like, <laughs> like it was like, it was up to the waistband. So we were having an issue. Okay, and then the final pair was a pair of Lee jeans, just classic dark wash and they, I put the shark bite hem on them and to be a little edgy, I put a little butthole on them. Cause I think the edgy right. kid, the edgy kids like to wear those, but they're cute. These are tiny. These are like 25. Yeah. Okay. So apparently I got another one. <laughs> Soft Oops. and sexy American Eagle. This one is a size small. Like but, a gray I mean, tie-dye. It was it's in the really bins, cute. so why not? And tie-dye is very popular, so why not? It's and like a, little... a blush and pink color. It looks like it's got a little gray in it, which I like, a little stone. Mm, maybe a little gray, not much. This is adorable. I, I still have no idea what brand this is. I haven't even. I think it's it from yet. like Ragstock. Probably. It looks something. like a little like kitchen. But it's thing. a brand called Free State, and it's an extra large. And it's so it cute. has little diversity here on it. Sides. We love that. Yes, I really like this, and it is so soft. Ooh, it is really soft. Yeah. I wonder if that's like—is it like the, one of those TJs? Yeah, like I men's t-shirts. I kind of think that's like what that's that. from. I hmm. kind of, if you can't tell, I was just picking up some stuff that's more like bundling or like yeah, closet Yeah, just fillers. like little cute stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is a new brand I'd never heard of. It is called Lynx Sportswear. I grabbed it because it's brand new. You can't go wrong with like getting stuff that's brand new you in know. the bins. It's cute. Too. Um, I'm going to try to sell it myself. Comps almost look like 40, 45 bucks, especially for new ones. So I will list it probably pretty similar to that. And it is a 6D. Oh, it's like one of those like high impact sports bras. Yeah. For a lot of fun. Next a is Ecote, which is Urban Outfitters. I love the Ecote stuff. This is a size medium. I, say. I don't know if they still make Ecote. They do. Okay. They do. Tie dye. I love these. I cannot get over how cute these are. These, these are like tie dye boho joggers. There we go. Now really they look cute. They're like, so cute. You can tell they've been washed a handful of times, but I mean, they're lounge pants. It 100% adds matter. to the like look and they, they got the little the ankle like ankle detail yeah those are so and cute. they're very stretchy so they could probably fit a large as well i love those and another closet filler this is an extra small american eagle i was just gonna get it for play-dohs and then i realized it was a romper so i will sell it myself i remember these these were so popular a few years ago when they came out again they're really cute i would say it could fit a small as yeah. well and i like that pattern Okay, first up for me is another Anthro find. This is Maeve Anthropology, size 12. And it is the older tag, but it's like this really fun little confetti. That's cute. Little confetti blouse. I didn't realize it gets more like condensed yeah. on the bottom. Yeah, I think it's cute. I think the model picture on that one's a little older, so, so I'll just probably just use my own picture. Um, we have another pair of jeans. Oh, oh these I are love cute. These. More plus size, yay. Okay, so these are Torrid, size 12. Um, these are boyfriend so jeans. Fast. But like, look at how cute these are. Like a nice little pair of regular wash jeans with this really, really pretty floral embroidery. I've had some Citizens of Humanity side. with almost the exact same. Super cute. And it's on the bottom of the other leg as well. I love these. And then they're just putting in the back. Those are adorable. I don't know why some people at the bin that we go to just don't pick up Torrid. Like I've seen people like get it and then put it back. I'm like, why? I skipped that pink label torn. You know, there sure. are some of those ones where I'm like, well, this is just ugly. <laughs> okay, um, more of very cute plus size stuff. This is Boohoo Plus US size 12. And like, you know, none of this stuff is very expensive, but like, it's really cute. Little snake skin. That's really cute. Little yeah. snake skin dress with a collar on it. I love this with like a belt and like a moto jacket. Ooh. Yeah, Python is another one of the animal cute. prints that's very in, so. Okay, 
Um, so thank you to that girl that donated all her cute stuff because she also gave me this really cute swimsuit. I do not know the brand of this. I think it's just like one of those little Instagram companies, but it is new tags and it does have, it does not have the sanitary liner in it anymore. But, it's new but it was never worn, so you're good. <laughs> um, but it's this really cute kind of like bigger scalloped, um, it's kind of a textured material. Yes, sir, with the mic here. Swimsuit. What size? Um, XL. I think it's kind of like a cup sheet situation. Oh. But like, I cannot get over this. It's so cute. And it is cup sheet. That's really cute. I know. And it has the like clasp in the back. And this one is a size XL as well. It is New Tech Boohoo. I think her dog got to this before mine did. But it is this really pretty, really long maxi dress. There's the tag, but it does have these really fun little like That's floral really embroideries under the um under the butt. This type of shape here too is very flattering. I know. So. And it has these like really fun like wings. dramatic bat wings and she is like all the way to the ground. But it's like split on the side. It's not a jumpsuit, but it kind of no. splits. And it is lined to like mid thigh. Yes. I would say. So here is my one Lulu lemon. Lulu lemon. It is actually a men's. And just by feeling it, I knew that's what it was because I actually didn't see the logo for quite a while while it's like searching really on this soft. thing. But it is this men's kind of like buttony polo-y Luan Ooh. polo. Because uh, yes, stuff. it is very the Luan, Luan. stuff is very soft. Um, it does not have a size. I'd probably say tag. extra. I'd probably say extra large. Yes, I believe it's extra large, and it doesn't does it have, have the little... like ribs that tell you. But I would say. Is it on the inside of the hinge? Large. So this is a brand that I've actually never tried. I know that some people have and have had luck with it, and it is J Jill, and it's size medium. I got this because it's so cute it's, though. It looks to be the knife never the worn ever. Mm -mm. And it's really cute. I like this pattern. And once again it has, yes, yeah, as Ryan says, knife pleats. It so, looks like the um the Jeremy Scott like piano dress. Yeah, it's really cute and I actually saw that it's still on the website. So Very cute. That was adorable. Next up, another brand I've never tried. Trying to kind of figure out how this I think you had it right. Guy works weird Does they're it like go around your shoulder blades yeah so it uh, that ooh, how does that stay okay. on i don't know how this works yet oh well there's something i don't wait know. hold on flip it but it is it an thing. airy new tag airy oh. swim top with ruffles which ruffles are always pretty in and there's a tie in the front extra end. small and it retails at like 33 dollars i continuously am amazed at how overpriced swimwear is yeah for like two pieces of neoprene and some string. Oh, this. There we go. Okay. So it ruffles all along like this way over your shoulder. I still don't Let's think Let's jump <laughs> into the two purple velvet things that were in the thumbnail. We so here's velvet. another ASOS. It is a brand called Nude and it's size medium. Side note, there is a really, really, really expensive um, silk brand sold anthropology also called Nude. Yes, but that's in like parentheses. Mm -hmm. So it's like a mock neck it's and really it's cute. sleeveless. And it's got it's... a little ruching on the sides. Yeah. Super pretty. Adorable. And the other one, more closet <laughs> filler, but this is so cute. I could not skip this. Wild Fable, which is Target. Like I said, some Wild Fable stuff actually does sell. And this is a size large, and it is a like grape oh, purple. It is like grape Kool Aid. Velvet jumpsuit. But like, can you imagine showing up in this? Oh my gosh. I love it. The Wild Fable jumpsuits, I am kind of drawn towards. I one time had like a Wild Fable boiler suit and it <gasps> sold to someone who watched the haul and I think like three other people had emailed. Oh, the denim one. Yes. Ooh, we love a good so, boiler suit though. Yeah. And another closet filler, Derek Hart. And it says Happy Camper embroidered on it. Size large. And hole? it has a pinhole, so. If you want it, five dollars. Yeah, <laughs> unless you buy something else, I can throw it in for free. Um, this is my best find. So it is TJD, which what it's, is it? It's called the Jet Set Diaries. The Jet Set Diaries. For some reason, it's crossed out, but it's just a gold TJD. And this is actually a collab with three people. Again Long. with the knife pleats. <laughs> is this knife pleated? Yeah. Yes. 
It is this pleated, super long, like champagne rose gold, bouncy. It's very so bouncy. cute though. <laughs> um, pair of pants. They're really cute. They did these pants for free people and they did a jumpsuit in the same kind of pleat. And it's a size extra small and there is absolutely no stretch. So oh. unfortunately this will probably have to go to an extra small. Well, fortunately yeah. if you are an extra small, but they are definitely an extra. Small. Those are so cute though. Okay, next up for me, just a cute little basic Madewell piece. This is a size extra small and that is newer tag Madewell. It's just one of the like classic little thermals with the button on the sleeves and then plain on the back. And then, oh, I like this. This is cute. This is 100% like a little closet filler because it's just exertion, which I think is like Kohl's Target. Target maybe. I think it's Target workout. But it's this there. super cute little lavender silver star pullover. Like, are you kidding me? It's just really cute. The themes of this video, pleats, <laughs> purples, <laughs> and closet fillers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is a good find. This is new, newer tag Amadi, size extra small from Anthropology. Oh. It's this blue linen romper. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love how it has the little like scrunchy detail in the back and then it has the twist detail on the front. She needs a steam, but I'm very happy she's here. Okay, one more piece of plus size Boohoo. This is US size 12 again, and it's just this really cute, really long um, black duster. <laughs> needs to be lint rolled. Everything needs to be lint rolled or seamed. <laughs> the boohoo lady obviously had like a cat or something. I think she had a dog. Or a dog. But something that shits. We're not mad. Okay, I was so excited to find this, and then I was kind of heartbroken a little bit, but it's still not that bad. Uh, I would still be excited. Um, so it's Barefoot Dreams. Which I have never found a Barefoot Dreams in the wild, ever. The only I one I've ever three. had is one I got sent to me in a mystery box. So I was like over the moon excited. This one's a size medium, but oh, the it's only, really soft and it's too. like, it's, it really hasn't been worn that much. It's, I don't know what did this, so nice. but one of the pockets, unfortunately, has like Holes. a hole in it. So I think what I might okay. well, do- Well, you need one pocket to carry a phone. And you're usually wearing these at home. Yeah. So I think that's what I might do fine. is just like sew like a, like straight across like at the top of the hole, so I can still say like the pockets and functional. And people still like barefoot dreams even with holes. They really, really, really do, and it's so soft. I love the color. I really understand why people pay like one hundred and forty dollars for these. Yeah. Because they're soft. Um, I'll do one more. So this is just a little boutique sweater. It's called Moon and Madison, size medium. But it's just this really cute little it's color black. really cute. Cute little color black sweater. With the little, um, not quite a dolman sleeve, the but giant like. cable knit down the middle. I know. Like a little chunkier. And I love the colors. I think this will do good for like pumpkin picking yeah. season. As I like to call it. All right. So next up for me is a Timberland. Not one that I buy very often. It's so soft. Because I don't actually like find cute good stuff by them very and the often. boots get picked up. Size so small, so it's definitely a men's, so I guess it could be a woman's literally like large or extra large. It's bigger. It it's is huge. like a Patagonia Cinchilla, but Timberlands, which another expensive oh. brand. So. And it's so soft on the inside too. It's like I need to lint roll this one a little. It's not too bad, but she's kind of picked up hair from it's like else. mock type neck and it's a quarter zip. It's really cute. I like the little like cuffs in the sleeves yeah. too. That's cute. So another brand I don't grab too often, but it is Club Monaco and it's actually Club Monaco Collection, which I would assume means it's higher end. Or it's gonna be like TJ Maxx. <laughs> I have yet to find out. Size medium and it has some wool in there and some cashmere in it. But it is like a cardigan, except it zips. Oh, so it's, it's like, like a little... A cardigan jacket. It looks like one of those St. John cardigans. Yeah, it is super, super high quality wool. You yeah. can tell. But, I know, it feels really expensive. Yeah. Then I got this ribbed Athleta tank top. It's almost like a sweater tank, kind of in a way, just the feel of it. And it is a size large, a kind of older Athleta label, but we will still give her a shot. Another Athleta. This is really cute. An Athleta hoodie, like the normal kind of athletic heat material. And it crosses over in the front and oh, it's, it's a size cool. extra small. Another jumpsuit. Another purple item. <laughs> so this is Ecote, once again. Ecote. 
size small. Probably the same woman. Super cute though. Because it is tie-dye. It's purple tie-dye. Once again, tie-dye. But like, this is adorable. Yes. This will do so well. Yes, I really like this. And, and it's it has got like the, the leg. wide legs. And it's got a little like fringy on the bottom yeah. to add a little, a little distress. And then the nice kind of crisscrossy all really over cute, the back. Like starting back. Yeah, I will just, I have three more. I will finish mine up. Mm -hmm. So I got this Nike. I actually got a few Nike leggings. I just accidentally left we them. We left them in the dryer at home. In Minnesota. <laughs> Oops. So it is like quilted really and we'll then the coat. sleeves are like sweatshirt or like hoodie. But it's really nice. And it's a size extra small woman. So it's, it's that thermofit stuff. That stuff's nice. Okay, I'll save my other best find for the end. I brought one of my Nike pants home. These are men's size medium. They've got like windbreaker material at the waist. These are nice, a little pair of joggers. And then they yeah. have the nice Nike plaque there. Newer and nicer Nike like this, I do sell myself. Cause it does really good. It actually does really good. Mm -hmm. But the like older or more basic stuff, I usually bring to like a consignment store. <laughs> so here's my other amazing find. This is a good one. It is Ibex. And if you don't know, Ibex is like a really expensive kind of outdoorsy. She is primo. Smart wool type situation. It's like smart wool's hot or older sister. Yes. 100%. And it's a size large and it is this really nice like rust orange color. Another half zip. Um, men's size large. I love the little like color block on the back of the. Yeah, the it has the, the logo right there. It is very like it's nice very smart wool feel to mm -hmm. it okay next up for me is this is a zara skirt i do not pick up zara anymore at the thrift store but i will get it at the bins this is a size small and it's kind of like a mini length skirt with a faux leather detail on the bottom half and a little elastic waistband uh okay this is j crew size medium and this is a men's t-shirt Oh, but it cute. just has this like cute little mountain design on it. And then the sleeve says something. I can't read it. But I did realize when I grabbed it that it was new tanks. Oh, nice. So. I didn't even see that. I know. Not mind about it. Okay. This is a Orvis piece size large. And it's this really cute little burgundy and gray kind of baseball. What are these called? Like raglan t-shirts? Yeah. Cute. Okay, this is I a this. this is a new brand to me, but it was super cute, and you know they resell for a pretty decent amount. Um, it is e e shakti e shakti. I have no idea. Custom. Um, I have yet to find a size, but I would probably oh, say like oh. small or medium. But like, look at how pretty oh this thing gosh. is. Look at this print with the like sash that. detail, and then the pleated flowy skirt. And it is mini length, and I have found the model picture to this, but with like cap sleeves. Oh, that's so. Cool. I love it. It's super cute. Some witchy woman needs that. <gasps> Stevie Nicks. Okay, this is a new J. Crew tag to me. I also don't pick up J. Crew in the thrift store, but I will get it in the bins. <laughs> um, I had never seen this tag before. Me neither. I have no idea who Thomas Mason shirtings for J. Crew is. It's a size eight, and it's this really kind of like um. Oh, what are these called? A little like pinstripe, pin pleat something, pin pleats. Plated. A little tunic. And it does have like the, like the mandarin collar. Is that one? On the front, I think so. It's a size eight. Hmm. That's why I kind then of assume, I kind of assume so. Okay, this is Mountain Hardware. The label is kind of worn off, but there is the logo on the back. And this is a men's medium thermoball blue down coat the logo's on the front too oh is it oh yeah nice and this did have a teeny 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 bit of wear on the back hem but it looks like it all washed out so fixed it is machine washable it is which is a blessing okay so i usually don't pick up wild fable either but i did get this piece it's a size large because it is one of those like really sought after target pieces. They made them for a little bit with the um, neon green sweatpants that everybody always wants. Yeah. And they don't make them anymore. So, okay. Lululemon, Lululemon. Um, and it is the reversible like waistband style leggings. These are a size four. They're just plain black. You know, nothing crazy. 
Okay, these I wouldn't get at the store either, but I think they were cute. It is older tag Lily Pulitzer size. This is eight. the same pattern as that beach bag I sold once. <gasps> I just realized is. I was like, what if like I've seen that before? Um, I I would probably say these are still a size eight, maybe yeah. just on like a little bit of the smaller side. But they're so cute. They I are. love the pattern. Some of those Lily patterns that kind of give me vertigo. This one does not. It's very cute. Okay, last but not least is a, a little more plus size. This is Lane Bryant, size 14, large. I have long, sold some right? cute, yeah, some cuter, large, 14, not 14 large, 14 long, excuse me. Um, I have sold some cuter Lane Bryant pieces in the past, but all the ones I find are kind of like, meh, kind of old looking. Yeah, mine too. Um, but these are super cute. It's a classic pair of dark wash jeans with the, well, I have on the bottom. Yeah. Super cute. And then they're just plain in the back. Yeah. Love them. Okay. okay, that was a big one. Yeah, maybe we should just split it into two, but it's too late now. Well, here we go. <laughs> so for all of you that are still watching, thank you all thank you. for joining us. We are so excited to see you guys in the <gasps> chat on oh, Saturday. That'll be really fun. We will fun. be doing a Taco Bell mukbang. I'll be wearing a shirt again. I'll probably be and, wearing my Taco Bell t-shirt. Yeah. And like I said, we'll be doing a What's Old Saturday and Q&A. So if you do have questions, leave them below. Yes. If you're interested in anything that you saw in this haul, yes. you can email no. us or you can DM us. And we will see you guys on Saturday. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>